Hey, uh, we're going to do Algebra 1, 6 2, solving systems by substitution. First off, you know what substitution means? It means you take something and you replace it with something else. In basketball, um, whenever you have a sub, that means you take out a player, put another player in. Okay? Um, whenever you do uh, teaching, your teacher's gone, you have a substitute. Take out your teacher, put a substitute in. Now, I know with sports and all those real life examples, they're not always the exact same, unless you have clones. But most of the time, they're not the exact same value. Now, with math, you cannot substitute something in unless it is the exact same value. Now, what we're going to work on today, 6-2, solving systems by substitution. All right, what you'll have is you'll have two things. For instance, y equals 2x and uh, y equals x plus 5. Okay, what you're going to do is you're wanting to solve for x and y. Essentially what you're doing is when you solve for a, a system of equations, you're wanting to find where those two lines cross. That's our goal here. We want to find where this line and this line would cross each other on a graph. Okay? Now, hopefully at this point you learned how to solve by graph. <coughs> you type in your calculator and then go to calculate intersection and you can find where they cross. Now, we're doing it mathematically now. Substitution. First step to solve a substitution. you got to get an x or an y, any of the four x and y's here, by themselves. Okay? We've actually already got y's by themselves, which is quite fortunate. Now, let's say I wanted to get this y by itself, which I did. That's like saying y is equal to 2x. Y has the exact same value as 2x. They look different. It's like a $10 bill and two fives. Does that make sense? Like you've got something and then something that's equal to it. So that means that in this equation, I can plug in what y is equal to. If y has the exact same value as 2x, I can replace this y with 2x. So I take out that y and I put in 2x. Why do I want to do that? Because now I only have one variable. I can actually solve for an answer. So I would solve this, I would subtract an x from both sides, which would give me x equals 5. I found my x. To find the y, all I do is I plug that x into either of these equations. Either one. I think this one will be pretty easy. Plug it in here. What's 5 plus 5? 10. So y equals 10. That means that these two lines are going to cross on a graph at 5, 10. Okay? That means that's where they'll cross. Let's do a couple examples and then I'll be done. Okay, let's do it whenever it's a little more complicated. Uh, let's say we've got x equals 2y minus 4 and x plus 8y equals 16. Okay? Cool. Now, once again, my first step, get any of the x's or y's by themselves. Thank you, America. We've already got an x by itself. So what we do is we replace that x with 2y minus 4. Not that x, I'm sorry. We're going to replace this x with 2y minus 4. Because x has the same value as 2y minus 4. Same value. So I can take it out. Take out x. Bye-bye. Everybody say bye-bye x. Bye-bye x. Put in 2y minus 4. Now I'm just bringing down the rest of the problem plus 8y equals 16. Now I'm just solving multi-step equation. You can combine these two. 2y plus 8y is 10y. Still got my minus 4. Add 4. Divide by 10. I've got my y. All I do to find the x, plug that into either equation. I think this is the easier one. Plug in 2 for y, what's 2 times 2? 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So these two lines right here cross at the coordinate 0, 2. All right, I'll do one more. But that's it. Let's do this one. Um, 4y minus 5x. 
equals 9x minus 4y equals 11. Okay. Now, the reason I went with this one is because this one's a little more complicated. You're going to have to do substitution again, but you're also going to have to distribute afterwards. Don't get ahead of me. We're getting there. Okay? So, i got to get any of the x's or y's by themselves. I think this little x right here is going to be the easiest because these all have numbers attached to them, which means I'm going to have to divide to get that by itself. So, i got to get the, this x right here by itself on one side of the equal sign. Which means all i got to get rid of is that minus 4y. What's the opposite of minusing 4y? Add 4y. That cancels out. x equals 11 plus 4y. Now, I have what x is equal to, right? What's x equal to? That's correct. 11 plus 4y. So in my other equation, I can plug this in for the x. You know what I'm saying? Short. Okay, I'll write right here. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. 4y minus 5. That's 5 times x. So that means I've got to do 5 times what x is equal to. 11 plus 4y equals 9. Now we just solve it. I'm going to have to distribute this negative 5. Not just the 5, but the negative 5. Multiply here and here. So now we've got 4y, and then that becomes negative 55. And that becomes negative 20y equals 9. Combine my like terms. 4 minus 20 is negative 16y minus 55 equals 9. And then we add 55 to this side to get rid of it. Nope, that's a 16, not a 15. Equals, and that'd be negative, I'm sorry, that's a positive. It's a positive 64. And then we divide negative 16. So y would equal negative 4. We found our y. It's negative 4. Find our x. We've got to plug that negative 4 into the equation. I'm going to plug it into this one. I think it looks easier. x minus 4y equals 11. Okay, I'll plug in the negative 4 here. Negative 4 times negative 4 is going to be positive 16. Subtract 16, x equals negative 5. So the coordinate where these two lines cross is at negative 4, negative 5. The end. Also, if you want to, if you're bored, you're more than welcome to go to Facebook and type in TylerTarver.com is okay, or just go straight to the link at Facebook.com slash Tyler is okay, and it'll take you to my Facebook page. Which, what? Do you want to like it? Okay, everybody's doing it. Or you can go to my website and get more math help, and it's all organized, so TylerTarver.com slash math.